Hey everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Chair. Today I wanna to share with you guys a really fun eye makeup hack. If you're just a beginner on eye makeup and you've never attempted it before, or maybe you just wanna find out a little bit more about it, then this is the hack for you. So you hopefully have an idea about face makeup. You hopefully know what blush is, what contour is, and what highlighter is. Great, that's all you have to know to create an eye makeup look. Let me explain. The apple of your cheek is basically like the lip. The hollow and contour along the cheekbone is basically like the hollow of your socket. And wherever you apply highlighter, maybe it's the top of the cheekbone, tip of the nose, cupid's bow, that's basically exactly the same thing that you do on the eye. Might apply it on the inner corner, might apply it on the center, or maybe underneath the brows. So by knowing what these three things are, you can just use this information to create the perfect eye makeup look. And not only does this help with the placement of the shadows, but it also helps you decide on the brush that you're gonna use and the type of formula you're gonna use as well. So let's start off with formulas. When it comes to the lid and the cheek, you can use anything you want. Maybe use a matte blush on your cheeks, or maybe a satin, or maybe a shimmer. You can pretty much use anything on your cheeks. And the same goes for any color as well. I mean, you might not wanna wear green or blue like you can on your lids, but you can pretty much wear any color that you want on your cheeks. And the same goes for the lid. Any textures, any formulas, everything goes. Then you have your contour. Now, the typical rule of contour is it needs to be at least one shade darker, and it's better for it to be satin or matte. And the same goes for your crease. You don't wanna go something too light in the crease or to use something too shimmery in the crease either. If you can't find the perfect eyeshadow, you could definitely go ahead and actually use your contour in the crease of your eye. And then you have your highlighter and you might wanna go for full on super highlighting beaming, or you might wanna go for something a little subtler. Totally up to yourself. But by using that information, you can also then decide on the brush that you're gonna use as well. Cause it's not just about the formula, but it's also about the brush. So if you know what your blush brush looks like, all you wanna do is to use a smaller version for your lid. Easy, right? The brush that I use to apply my blush, for instance, it's kind of a flat brush, but it also has a little bit of movement in there, so it's kind of blended out nicely for me. And the same goes for the lid. I want something flat so I can really apply it, but I also have a little bit of give just to kind of soften it out. Then you have your contour shade. So there's two brush techniques that I use for applying my contour. Sometimes I just apply it with a blending brush and I just sweep it over and back. Or sometimes I'm a little bit more precise and I'll use a flat brush to apply it and then a blending brush to buff it out. And the same goes for your eye makeup. Get right into that socket area, whether it's there or not. Same goes for the face. Sometimes those cheekbones are obvious, sometimes they're not. And you just wanna mark in where you want it to be or where it already is. And then take your blending brush and just buff it over and back. And this will add a lot of definition, just the same way as it adds definition to your cheekbones. It'll give that definition to the eyes. Then you have your highlighter. There's so many different ways that you can apply highlighter, different areas of the face that you might wanna hit. So what's the best way to do this? A small brush. A small detailed brush will give you lots of control on where you want to apply the highlighter. And then you just wanna do exactly the same thing for your eyes, only smaller, because it's a smaller space to work on. So I'm just using a little pencil brush and I'm going to apply that highlighter on that inner corner. You can also apply it on the center of the lid or underneath the brow bone, anywhere that you wanna catch the light basically. And here's a little rule when it comes to eye makeup. If you can use your fingertips to apply a very similar product on the face, you can use your fingertips to apply it on the eyes. The only time that applying with your fingertips doesn't work on the face is usually with contour. That's why it's always a good idea to have a blending brush. You have nothing else get yourself a good blending brush. And you don't even have to have a ton of eyeshadows. You can just use your contour and your highlight on your eyes as well, and then just go for a lid shade, anything that you want. Finish off with your mascara, lashes, liner if you're feeling a bit adventurous, and there you have it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're gonna give it a go. I'd love to see you guys recreate it. And make sure to check back next Monday for a more in-depth eye makeup tutorials that are coming up for the next few weeks. I'll see you then.